Our families are gathering this week in a small town in Austria to celebrate their Catholic faith. Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Vatican Bureau Chief, joins us now from Austria. Andreas, great to see you. Uh, I know that you're speaking at a family retreat in Austria. Can you tell us a little bit more about this spiritual event? Sure, Tracy. I'm here in an Austrian town called Polau in the Austrian countryside, almost in the center of Europe. There's a meeting of Catholic families from Austria and Germany taking place here. It's quite interesting because in a statement today, the Holy See found clear words for the German synodal path. This is the process where church employees and bishops vote on certain controversial uh, issues and topics such as same-sex relationships or women priesthood. Proponents call it an answer to the abuse crisis in the church, while critics claim that it's really the abuse of the abuse. In its statement, which was just published a few hours ago, the Holy See clarified that, and I quote, the synodal path has no right to impose onto bishops or the faithful new forms of leadership or new norms of church teachings. So the proponents of the synodal process in Germany should make no mistake, Rome is not condoning their actions. And I'm here to talk about what the families expect of their pastors. And Andreas, how do the families that you're talking to, how do they see the church? And also, can you describe the mood, you know, with everything going on in Europe? Sure, Tracy. So the atmosphere here is impressive. More than 200 families have come together this week to meet and learn about, but also celebrate their Catholic faith. And Tracy, there are more than 600 children here attending their own catechesis lessons appropriate to their age. There are lectures in the morning and the afternoon held in a big tent on the grounds of a park belonging to the old town's castle. Holy masses are celebrated in the local basilica. And on Saturdays, the families will undertake a foot pilgrimage to a nearby mountain to a Marian shrine to consecrate their families to Mary. And uh, a very emotional event that people are looking forward to here will be when the parents will renew their wedding vows in the church during an adoration before the Holy Eucharist. There are more than 40 priests expected to come to assist with this celebration. And Tracy, we really see how important it is that the church walks with the married couples. Divorce rates are still high in Europe. Between 40 to 50 percent of married couples file for divorce. Sadly, this is also true of baptized Catholics. Families here told me that they struggle once in a while, and they would hope that the priests here, but also the families, help them to overcome their difficulties. They're not interested so much in modernizing the church as, for example, the German Synodal Path is proposing. They're interested in developing a deep relationship with God and basing their marriage on the rock of faith. That is also very interesting, and I love hearing and seeing all the children and all the families out there together. Um, you said there are hundreds of children running around there. We hear them. Can you tell us more about the family in Europe today? Uh, sure. And, I mean, sadly, also big families in Europe are rather the exception. Uh, also here in Central Europe. But at this meeting, you have many families with five and more children. They're following an alternative, a Catholic lifestyle that is really countercultural to the mainstream in the West. And I don't know, Tracy, if you've ever watched the movie uh, The Sound of Music. Well, we're not very far away from where the story took actually place. And just like the Trapp family resisted the wrong ideologies of their time, it seems people here are also ready to peacefully resist. But the Catholic families here are not in defense. There are many religious vocations coming from these families. Young priests here who are, have been at this meeting with their own families when they were still kids. And to me, this gathering seems much more like a beacon of hope for the future of our church, but also for the future of this continent of Europe. Yeah, absolutely. And Andreas, thank you so much for that report. We appreciate it. Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Vatican Bureau Chief. Thank you again.